What is up guys, Papur here, bringing you a really exciting tutorial on pan crop and syncing of your cinematics in Adobe After Effects. Alright, let's jump straight into it, and you can see we have three cinematics and my song. I'm just going to preview this for you so you can see how it sounds without anything on it. Now you can see it's all synced up, but it goes really, really slow since I recorded my cinematics at 0.2 timescale in Black Ops 2 theater mode. And I do that because I want to get the maximum amount of frame rate on my cinematics and uh, I, I want to reduce the warping of my Twixter. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all of these cinematics, go to Effect, RE Vision Plugins and Twixter. And before you click on anything else, go to your input frame rate type in 59.94 or whatever frame rate you have. I recommend you have either 59 frame, frames per second or higher since uh, anything beneath looks really warpy with Twixter. And uh, tap that in. And then we can go to our first cinematic. Go to where it starts and one frame behind. Click on the speed, stopwatch, at 100. Go forward, put it up to Anything from about 700 to 1000, depending on how your cinematics look. Uh, sometimes you, you use smaller numbers, sometimes higher. I'm going to use 1000 for my cinematics, since it's, it's a bit slower than I regularly use. Then go to about the middle, or maybe a bit before or a bit after, depending on your song, and type in about 150. Go to your end of your cinematic, type in 1000 and then you're golden. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hit U to get our keyframes out, highlight all your Twister keyframes, right click, go to Keyframe Assistant and Easy Ease. Now, regularly I just press F9 to make my keyframes go to Easy Ease mode, but since that stops my recording in Camtasia, I can't do that. But that's what I regularly do. So, then you can go to your Graph Editor, that's right here. You can zoom in a bit, click on your left keyframe, drag it down to make a, a smooth uh, movement, drag the right down as well. And now you get a really fluid and uh, not a choppy or, I don't know what, what you can call it, but you get a really smooth movement where it speeds up, goes down to a slower pace, and then speeds up again into your next cinematic. It, it it makes for a really, really nice transition and it's something I really, really enjoy using. Okay, then we can go to our next cinematic and repeat that process. Go to the first frame, go back one, hit the keyframe of the speed at 100, move forward, put it to 1000, move forward to the middle, put it to 150, move forward a bit again, and put it to a thousand. Then you press U to get your keyframes, highlight those, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, to your graph editor, and make this smooth rounded uh, movement. Whoops, that wasn't what I was supposed to do. Like this. Now that looks really good. And then you can I'm actually gonna put this up a bit more, actually, to about 1,200 1, a bit, I think, 1,200. Yeah, that looks better. And then we can go to your last cinematic, go backwards a frame, keyframe it at 100, go forward, put it to 1,000, go forward a bit, put it to 150, go to the end, and put it to a thousand. All right, let's go to the Twixter. I like those. Keyframe assistant, easy ease. Graph editor, and make the rounded shape or rounded line. All right, awesome. And now I'm just going to preview this so you can see how it looks without, well, with only Twixter on it. And then we're going to add some pan crop to make it look really, really nice. Okay, should be done now.
okay what we can see here is that this part was a bit too fast so we're gonna lower this keyframe to 800 and bump this up to a thousand uh, 1200 all right awesome and now you're gonna hit Control alt y to get up uh, adjustment layer you're gonna search up transform uh, in distort and drag that on go to the beginning of your cinematic uh, keyframe the scale at uh, 150. Go forward to your middle cinematic, uh, middle keyframe. Put it down to about 110. Oops, not 100, 110. And repeat that process at the last keyframe at 150. All right, then you can press U to get your keyframes. Highlight them. Go to keyframe assistant, easy ease. Go to your graph editor and make that same rounded line. Great. Now what you can do is you can take these two keyframes, hit Control C, go to the middle keyframe of your second cinematic, hit Control V to paste it, then go to the last keyframe and drag that on to there. And then you can do the same thing on your last cinematic and put this keyframe to there. And then you can go to graph editor to make sure everything looks nice. I'm going to take this one, like that instead. Sometimes it messes up when you paste it. And now you have this rounded, um, rounded lines and it looks really, really nice. So let's preview this so we can see how it looks and that's I think that's about everything you can add more rotation or position or whatever you want I usually add a bit of a rotation position not nothing too much because you want to have it a bit clean all right that looks really really nice uh, now it, this is a tutorial, so I'm not gonna make it all perfect, but you get the basic idea. And I don't, I don't want to like show you any specific effects since that doesn't really promote thinking on your own and experimenting. So it, it, you have to experiment when you edit because otherwise you just end up copying everyone else, and you, you you're not gonna get anywhere with that. So just experiment. Uh, change up the keyframes, change up the speeds, use different effects, and you'll be golden. Alright guys, I think that's about it, and um, gonna make a couple more tutorials before I go and pick up my Battlefield 4. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.